Brexit Britain's trade deal hopes with the U.S. have been given a boost today following an update from International Trade Secretary, Liz Truss. In an announcement today, Mr. Truss confirmed the latest round of talks with the U.S. had begun. Not only has the latest round of talks commenced but Ms. Truss also revealed both sides have agreed to intensify negotiations ahead of the U.S. election. The update of the talks will come as a major boost to Boris Johnson's post-Brexit plans due to the size and importance of the U.K.'s trade relationship with the U.S. In a statement, Ms. Truss said, the fifth round trade talks have started with our great ally the U.S. We're intensifying negotiations so we are in a good position to move forward after the election. We want a deal that delivers for all parts of and is forward-leaning in modern areas like tech and services. According to figures released by the government earlier this year, trade with the U.S. stood at £201.6 billion and accounted for 15% of the U.K.'s trade in 2018. That number was a 5.7% increase on the previous year and illustrates why it is essential for the UK to sign a free trade agreement as soon as possible. The hopes of a trade deal with the US, however, were threatened following the introduction of the UK Internal Market Bill earlier this year. Amid the accusations over the bill's threat to the Good Friday Agreement in Ireland, Democrat nominee, Joe Biden warned he would not support any future trade deal if he became president. Mr. Biden's warning was also echoed by Speaker of the House of Representatives, Nancy Pelosi in a blow to the Prime Minister's plans. As well as the threats from across the Atlantic over the chances of a trade deal, there have also been concerns over the standard and quality of imported meat and food from the U.S. Due to the practice of chlorinated chicken and hormone-injected beef, some in the UK have stated the UK cannot drop its high agricultural standards in order to secure a deal. Despite these fears, Ms. Truss has insisted the practice of both is already banned in the UK anyway. She added, what isn't helpful is scare stories about hormone beef and chlorinated chicken when it's already banned in the UK anyway.